And today I'm back with a holiday look, and this would be perfect for New Year's Eve. In fact, this is the look that I am going to wear on New Year's Eve. And the palette that I use today is the Kat Von D. And this palette is really great for every day, but it also would be perfect for something like this because it's got all the party colors in it. It's got the gold, uh, it's got the silver, and I really love the neutrals that you got plenty of and you use a lot of it anyways. So this is a great palette to create a holiday look. And that's what I'm going to do today. I did also pair it with a red lip because a holiday look just wouldn't be a holiday look without the red lip. So if you want to see how I did this New Year's Eve holiday look using the Kat Von D Butterfly Palette, just keep watching. So I am going to start out the eyes with a little bit of the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And I'm going to put this on before I even do the brows. Just gonna use a concealer brush to put it on. And I'm gonna apply it from the lash line all the way up onto the brows. And that'll help on the shadow I'm gonna use to do the brows. Stay on too. So for the brows, I'm just going to use the color Brun from MAC, which is right here. And then I'm going to use a Makeup Forever Brow Brush. And this is an angled brow brush. It's a 5SB. And I'm going to use that to just fill in my brows so that they're not too sculpted, just really kind of soft. But yet filling them in. So to make sure that the colors and pigments I use are going to really stick, I'm going to use a paint pot from MAC, and this is in Painterly, and it's just like the same color as my skin tone. I'm also going to use it to kind of defra define the brow shape a little bit. Gosh, I can not talk today. I'm just going to use a concealer brush, and I'm going to put that on from the lash line up to the brow. This is just going to give everything a little bit more stickiness, add a little bit more stickiness so that like the glitter and everything we put on is going to stick a little better. So the first color I'm going to start out with is this one right here. It's kind of a taupey color. I'm going to start out with a big fluffy dome shaped brush, or at least it's supposed to be. It's a little squished, I think. Okay, I'm just gonna put that in the crease and just really blending it out. You can bring it down as far as you want and then up as far as you want. It's just gonna create a little bit of dimension. It's also gonna help us blend later. So what I'm going to use this color right here. And this is just a really gold pigmented color. I'm going to use a flat stiff shader brush. It's the same as a MAC 239. And I'm just going to pick some up on the side of the brush and just start by packing that on. And I'm going to stay below the crease with this. And this is really pigmented. It's really pretty gold. And you can go all the way over to the outside. And by pressing it, you're gonna have less fallout and you're gonna get more pigmentation. Next, I'm gonna cut the crease a little bit more and I'm going to use just a pointed blending brush. And this one is a Vidalium 781. It's not as small as a pencil brush, it's a little bit bigger. And I'm going to start by using this color right here. And then I'm just going to carve out the crease. And 
then once you have that, you can wipe off your brush and you're just going to blend upward with that. And you just want to make sure you're not really blending down because then you'll lose that cut crease that you have. So we're just kind of blending that out just a little. So next I'm going to pick up a pencil brush, so a little bit pointed, a little bit more pointed, and then I'm going to use that same color again, the darker brown color, and I'm going to use that to create the outer V, so I'm just going to draw a line going up and meeting up with that crease line, and then blend it inward. Just pulling it inward. So, and then on the outside, you just want kind of like a C-shape so that that inner color, the gold part, is really cut and this is kind of like at a C-shape on the outside. Okay, so next I'm going to still be using that pencil brush and I'm going to pick up the black color in here and I'm going to use that to cut the crease just a little bit more. And I'm just going to start at the outside, cutting the crease, and I'm going to stop about midway right here. And then I'm also going to draw that outer V again, create a little bit more dimension. And then you're going to pull that in, but not as far this time. Just going to darken the outer part of the eye by pulling it just a little bit in the outer corner. So you're just pulling that in and then I'm just going to wipe my brush off and then I'm going to blend that crease upward again just a little bit and just blending up above the line because you don't want to lose that cut so you don't want to blend down too far. I'm going to pick up a big flat shader brush. This is a large shader brush and I'm going to go in with this color right here. It's kind of got some yellow undertones um, but it's a matte shade. We're going to use that as a highlight and we're just going to put it underneath the brow and we're going to use that to blend out those colors on the top so that we get a nice fade into the brow. So next, the fun part, we're going to put on some glitter and I'm going to use Max 3D Glitter in Gold and it's really, really pretty. It's very pigmented, really sparkly. It's going to give you lots of dimension. So uh, first I'm going to use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue and for that you can just um, use a concealer brush and you just kind of just want to pat it on so that you're not, you know, taking off any of the color. And I'm just putting it just on the gold. And then you pick up some of your glitter and make sure to kind of press it in the cap so that you don't lose it or get a lot of fallout. And then press it on to the gold on the eyes. Then you get it right where you want it. So I'm going to pick up a little tiny angled liner brush and then some black track fluid line to create my eyeliner. Starting with the outside and going inward. Oh my, my teeth are loud today. So excited because we're going to the grandma's. So 
So once you've got that line started, you just want to kind of make a line going up towards the brow. And then connect it up to get a little bit of a wing there. Next, I am just going to apply some mascara. And I'm just using the NYX, it's a waterproof Le Chic Flick. And I am going to apply tons of coats of this. So when I'm using glitter or pigments, I'll just do the foundation, but I won't do the concealer, and then I'll do the eyes and come back to the face because you're gonna end up with uh, at least a small amount of fallout. So it's a little safer doing it this way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just take some toner on an SD wipe. And I'm going to use that to clean up under the eyes. You can just wipe everything away so that you know it's nice and clean underneath. So for a concealer, I like to use the SB foundation from Temp2, and this is in the color Sand. And I'm just going to use a concealer brush, and I'm going to place that underneath the eyes, going all the way up to the lash line. So I have a nice, it's nice and clean underneath the eyes. To blend that in, I'm just going to use a micro beauty blender. And I'm just going to press it in. And these are nice to get just right into the inner corner of the eye. I'm going to apply some lashes. And I'm going to use the Red Cherry DWs. And... I really like these because they're natural looking, but they give you a lot of drama too. So next I'm going to powder everything real quick to make sure that that concealer stays and I'm just using the Ben Nye Fair Translucent Powder. And I don't want to put on too much so I'm going to just use a fan brush um, and just place it underneath the eyes to make sure that that concealer stays and that way I make that helps to make sure that it's a light application so you don't get cakey under your eye area you and then I'm going to also put some in the t-zone with a regular powder brush so for underneath the eyes I am going to just make sure that I put a little bit of primer under there so using that anti-aging primer potion again, I'm just going to take a clean concealer brush and just take some of that and just put it right where I need to, just right on the lower lash line. And I just want to make sure everything sticks there. I'm going to pick up a pencil brush and I'm going to use that first color that we started with. This one right there, and that's that taupey one. And we're just going to put that on underneath the lower lash line. And you can go all the way in with this. Next, I'm gonna to switch to a smudge brush. Uh, let's see, this is a Vidalium 755. And I'm going to start out with that gold color that we used. And just put a little bit on the tip. And I'm going to put it right on the inner corner and the lower inner part of the lash line, just about just the inner part, so about one third. Next, using that same brush, I'm going to use the dark matte brown in here. And just put some on the tip, and I'm going to run that on the outer part, going inward and meeting up with that gold. Next, I'm going to switch to the angled eyeliner brush, and I'm going to use the black in the palette. And I'm going to pick some of that up and just put it in the outer 
right in the lash lines, go higher than that brown, just on the outer like one third. So next I'm just going to take some of that black chalk food line and I'm just going to pick up a black cold pencil and I'm going to dip it into the gel eyeliner. So I'm just going to use the cold pencil as a tool and I'm going to run that in the lower waterline. And then also take some and put it in the upper waterline. Then I'm just going to put some mascara on the lower lashes. So we're going to go on to the rest of the face and I'm going to start out with um, a bronzer and this is matte bronze from MAC. And I'm going to start out with just a small tapered face brush and I'm going to start kind of carving out the cheek shape and then just going around the cheek. And then you just want to blend upward. Okay, and then for a blush, I'm going to use one of my all-time favorites. Um, this is NARS Torrid. And I am going to use a flat cheek brush for this. And I'm going to pick some of that up on the side of the brush and put it on the backs of the cheekbones. Then I'm going to use a blush from Tarte and it's called Blissful. And it's just a light pink color. And I'm going to use a big powder brush for this. And I'm going to smile and put it right on the apples of my cheeks. So for a highlight, I'm going to use something that's gold, and this is a um, highlighter from Bobbi Brown, and it's actually broke, I've had it like so long, from last Christmas this one came out, but it's the Cheek Glow in Gold, you can see that it's really pretty and I really like it for um, this time of year. I'm going to pick up a dual fiber cheek brush. And some of that and put it right on the tops of my cheekbones and see how it just gives you kind of a really gold glow. So no holiday look would be complete without the red lipstick. So I'm going to start out with an aqua lip from Makeup Forever. And this one is in, uh, let's see here, C. 9C. Uh, it's just a matte red. I'm going to line the lips first. Okay, so for the red lipstick, I'm going to use this one right here. This one is Smashbox's Legendary. So it's just a true red. So that completes the look. It's really fun. It's going to be a great New Year's Eve look. I love the red lip with the holiday look and it's pretty much the only time that you can really get away with something really bold on the lips and the eyes. And the, uh, the glitter that I used from MAC has always been one of my favorite party from Disco glitters. So I will be sure to put a list of all the products that I used on my blog and a link to my blog below. And thanks so much for watching, guys, and I hope you subscribe.